3 is the first Halo game that I've actually played around its release. While I didn't own the game myself, it was impossible to not interact with it somehow. Everyone was playing this game. Most of my time was playing with friends on online multiplayer. So I'm not very familiar with the single player, and after playing it for myself, it might be my favorite of the original trilogy. The story is, once again, the exact same plot as the last two games. Halo is going to blow up the world if you don't stop the bad guys. I found it strange that it had these Silent Hill guilt flashbacks, and these became pretty annoying. You will become the best we can make you. I do like this game's cutscenes more than Halo 2 Anniversary. I find that they look way more natural since they use the in-game models instead of that Chuck E. Cheese shit. Hell, not again. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. But I'm making this YouTube video, and this is my hair. I do different stuff with my hair. I'm making this YouTube video because I need to put it out there that yes, 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 please. I wish to be a part of fart male white porn. All I wish to be is the um black funnel noodles. And if you're blind here, you be But once again, it all boils down to the gameplay. And I'll say that I thought this game was the most enjoyable of the bunch. For the first time, I felt like the game was actually on my side. In Halo 1 and 2, if you put that shit on heroic or higher, the game just laughs at you as it replays the death animation for the 300th time. Halo 3 actually feels like it was made to be played on the higher difficulties rather than just throwing you right into the deep end. And most of that comes from actually feeling empowered. Master Chief is still a little bit but at least he can dish out some pain, and the guns actually have some power to them. You actually have support from your teammates this time. In the last two games, you had no teammates. Yeah, they existed, but they were so fucking useless that you might as well have been fighting the entire Covenant by yourself. And yeah, they're still dumb as dirt in this game, and they can't pass their driver's ed. That damn sniper! Hey! Let's blow some stuff up! But damn, at least they know how to shoot. You also have the Arbiter on your side this time. He's just as dumb as the rest of them, but hey, at least he can't die. One thing I was pretty surprised about was just how glitchy this game is. You couldn't go 30 minutes without some weird shit happening and a lot of these glitches would give Todd Howard a run for his money. While these are pretty funny most of the time, they could still be annoying and something I would count as bad game design. While overall I would say that this game is better than the first two, that doesn't mean that it does everything better. I found that the level variety has really taken a turn for the worse. Even Halo 1 had some pretty interesting set pieces, but this game, it just feels like they copied the new Super Mario Bros generic level trope and called it a day. It's the same roadmap, grasslands, desert, forest, jungle, ice world, fire world, boss. As far as the original Halo trilogy is concerned, Halo 3 is the best one. Even though I thought it had some flaws, it was by far the most balanced and enjoyable experience. It did its best to not piss me off, and for the most part, it succeeded. I still think you should play Halo 2 first, and I would consider it a good game, if not a frustrating one. Halo 1 on the other hand, you can just skip it altogether. And with that said, I'd give Halo 3 an 8 out of 10.